Welcome to the Museum of Aquarium and Pet History, where we open boxes for your viewing pleasure. And I'm still using the bad knife. Sorry, Mark. I will get back to the Marco knife. What the heck is this? Who is this from? This is from the Museum of Aquarium Pet History to the Museum of Aquarium and Pet History. What I, I think I'm in a time warp here. I sent something to myself. Oh, this was from Eric in Florida. So he sent me, he must have found these somewhere. He sent me the, the chameleon lead. So you take a little pet chameleon, they're very small. You put the lead on his neck and then it's got a little pin here and you put the pin on your shirt. And so while you're walking around the fair, the chameleon's running around your, your shirt, but he's got a little fishing line here and he's attached to his neck. And I know this for a fact because I went to the World's Fair in Northern California, I think it was in Sacramento when I was a kid. And there was a guy with all these chameleons on a board with these pins and you could buy one. I asked my dad, can I have one? He said, sure. So he bought me a chameleon, a little, which is an anole is what they're really called. They're not true chameleons. And uh, I had it on my shirt the whole day. It just kind of ran around my shirt and stuff and I went to the fair. And then when I got home, I unleashed him and I let him go in the plants. So I gave him his freedom. And then we have another one here for hamsters. There you go. We talked about hamsters last week. Now we have hamster leads and we have extra ones. You're probably wondering, what do we do with all the extras? Well, as soon as I get more help, we're going to put the extras up on the website. And everything that we have extra is going to be up for sale on the website, which is going to fund the physical museum. And the one thing I can tell you about the website is there's going to be a lot of rare stuff that we put up, like vintage Penplex ornaments, things like that. We're going to give a one week head start to everyone that donates. So if you're a regular donator or you're, you've donated well, you will be in the special list that gets a one week head start on everything we put up in the museum and the website. It's gonna be hundreds and hundreds of things. We just need more help. Okay, that's all for that. Okay, let's get into here. Paper towels? Paper towels? What? That's not a packing material. Oh, okay. So this was 1960 birdcage feeders. And I never collect these because they're just so tacky. But we have birdcages from the 60s that we need to that must be a toy, that we need to basically use these for. So I saw this up at auction and I thought, you know what, I'm gonna get that because we do need some tacky plastic birdcage feeders. Paper towels. Ugh. All right, two more. See, when you pack in boxes like this, this is how I cut myself. When you've got a flimsy, I won't say the word, a flimsy Pop-Tart box. You should not ship in these. There's no, there's nothing. I mean, this is gonna, if there's anything delicate in here, it's broken for for sure. <laughs> he shipped a bird feeder in here. Really? A bird feeder? Okay, I won't say who this is, but this is a depression green, actually this is Vaseline glass. So it's, um, we'll have it, we'll have it phosphoresce at the end of the video, but this is definitely the green, not the yellow, but the green Vaseline glass or uranium glass that glows under black light. And it's amazing that it came in and not cracked because it's in a pop tart box with small bubble wrap. She gets two black marks from Gary because her packing was bad. Okay, so that's all that. Now, on to the next one. Oh, peanuts. And bubble wrap. All right, what do we got here? This looks like a bottle. Do a little operation here. Actually, I got the scissors. Much easier. Let's 
See, if you try to cut this open with a razor blade knife, you stand a real good chance of cutting the label. And if you cut the label, that's not good. You know, these, it's, it's irritating to have something that's 100 years old and, um, and you've just wrecked it. <laughs> This is this is cool. This is a this is a veterinary item or actually a dog item. It's a corker. Like I said, when they've got the cork in them, they're they're 1910 or older. And this is Glover's Imperial Blood Purifier for Dogs. Glover's DVS Doctor of Veterinary Surgery Proprietor uh, out of uh, New York. And it's an amber bottle. And what's really cool is it's embossed with Glover's on the backside as well. So it says uh, Glover's Imperial Blood Purifier, H. Clay Glover, DVS, New York. So that's really cool. Am I out of time? Yeah. All right. That's it for today. I will see you next week. Thank you, guys. Take care.